Hello everyone. Welcome to week two science, hands-on science. This is Mrs. Newmeyer here and we're going to be talking more about our eyes. Now, did you notice when I held this up, my eye got bigger and I take it away, smaller. And did you notice I have some glasses on today? Well, this is going to relate to our project today and some questions that we want to ask. So remember, our first step in the scientific the scientific method is to ask questions. Well, I have some questions about how our eyes work and also how lenses work. How do magnifying lenses work? And why, does it th why do things look bigger when I look through them? And then also, why is it when I wear my glasses, I can see things better than when I don't have my glasses on? Hmm, questions that we can ask and get some answers to today. Now, what questions do you have about the eye? Hmm. Think about those for a minute. We'll come back and we'll do some research. All right, my question for today I'm going to be asking is, does the shape of a lens change the way we see objects? Now, next step in the scientific process is to do some research. So let's do our research and see what is the lens inside the eye? What does it look like? And that will help answer some of our questions and help us to come up with a hypothesis for our experiment today. Now, I showed you this last time. I'll show you again. So this is the eye, and today we're going to be talking about this part of the eye here called the lens. Now this is an interesting um, part of the eye. When um, in challenge, in challenge A and challenge 2, we've done some dissections, which have been really cool, of a cow eyeball. And when something really surprising happens when we dissect the eyeball and we're able to get to the lens, it's a lot harder than we anticipated because a lot of the rest of the eye is pretty soft, but when you get to this lens, it almost feels like a marble. It's nice and it's a really hard part of the eye. Let me show you a picture. Um, that was an illustration of the eye, but I've got this book here that will show you a picture of what the eyeball looks like when you dissect it. And there's that lens part right there. All right. Now, something interesting about the shape of the lens, you'll see that it is like this. Let me show you this picture of the eye here. We have the lens right here, which I showed you in the other picture, and this is called a convex, convex shape, convex. Now, this book shows us how when we're looking at something, this one's looking at a butterfly, the light rays go in through our eye to the back of our eye, and we actually come, it comes in upside down, our lens flips it, but our brain puts it right side up for us. So the eye is so complex, it's so interesting. But see how there it goes through this lens of the eye here? We call that convex shape of the lens. Now, I wonder, this brings up some questions as we're doing the research that might lead to our hypothesis today. Does the lens, if it changes shape, does it change what we see? Hmm, interesting. Now, let's look at this one down here below to get us more information on our research. Now, here we show again, things are closer up here. Look at the shape of the lens here. And then we're looking far away Look at how the shape of our lens in our eye changes. Hmm. All right, well that leads us to our hypothesis. I wanna create a hypothesis today about that can answer our question. Does the shape of the lens change the way we see objects? So my hypothesis, remember what a hypothesis is? We talked about it last time. Hypothesis, bing! It's like a light bulb going off in your head, right? An idea. Remember in cartoons, sometimes you see a little light bulb. So that's why I do the bing sound, a hypothesis, bing, an idea you can test. All right, so we're gonna test our hypothesis today. So on our lab sheet, we can write what our hypothesis is. Now our question is, does the shape of our lens change the way we see objects? So our hypothesis would be that we're gonna either say, yes, it does, or no, it doesn't. Yes, the shape of a lens changes the way we see objects. Or no, if the lens changes, it doesn't change the way we see objects. And we'll test that today. Time for our experiment. Our experiment today will come from Janice Van Cleve's book. We're doing number 70. 
the water drop lens. Materials are all listed here uh, in the book and we're going to be using wire today and a bowl and some water and some newspaper or small print, something like that. I've got this little card here that has some little tiny print on here, but you could really use anything like a newspaper or, uh, you know, I've got some of these things back here that would work. So you have a small writing there, anything that you want to use. It helps if it is a little bit water resistant. This is laminated, just uh, helps because we're going to be putting the water droplets on there. If you don't have a laminator, no problem. You can also use like what I've been using on our lab sheet. You can use a uh, page protector. All right. For our experiment today, our procedure is going to be to take our wire and we're going to make a little tiny loop there at the end. So here's my wire and you're making a little loop. Now you can experiment with bigger or smaller ones, but I've found that it helps to have quite a small loop at the end here, if you can see that. Okay, then I'm going to take my bowl of water and I'm going to take the water, take my wire, dip it into the water, make sure you get water on there. The first couple of times I did it, my um, um, wire was too big and so the water droplet didn't stay on there. But now I've got a water droplet on there. Can you see that? Okay, and now you're going to take your piece of paper with the little writing on it and you're going to hold it up there like it's a magnifying glass and you're going to look and see does it magnify those letters. Now if you say, oh yes, I see it, it makes them look bigger. That's what we're looking for here because that means your water droplet made what's called a convex shape, just like our lens in our eyes. Now sometimes when we do this, the water accidentally makes a concave shape. Now let me tell you what the difference between those two things are because it gets confusing. I'll show you with this bowl. So a convex, we can remember, vex has a V in it, right? So let's imagine this is a V. It's our convex shape, which means it's going outward like this. And that's like our eyeball. Now, if it was a concave shape, it means it would dip in like this, kind of like you're exploring a cave, con cave like this. So our lens that we have in our eye is the convex shape. All right, see here, here's our convex shape of our lens inside of our eye. Okay, so when we're doing this with a water, what the water droplet is doing is actually making that convex shape. We're looking at the tiny print here and we're able to see it more magnified because of the shape that the water droplet makes. It's much like when we're using a magnifying glass. See there, it, it shows my eye bigger. And if we look at the print on the piece of paper, it gets bigger as well, right? So the shape of the lens does change it, doesn't it? Now, if I just put a regular water drop onto this paper, if I just drop it there with me. It doesn't do anything to change it because the shape of the water droplet when I put it on this is just going to be flat. And so it's not going to intensify, it's not going to magnify those letters at all. It's just going to be a nice flat shape. So that leads us to another question actually. Sometimes that happens in science, right? You start with one question and you start start answering that question, then you lead to another question. And so that makes me wonder, how do my glasses work when I put them in front of my eye? If I can't see something far away because my eyes, how do my glasses help me do that? Hmm, guess we need to do more research. But first let's find out um, our hypothesis. Did, we, did our hypothesis uh, end up being correct? or incorrect. Now my hypothesis was does or to the, my question was does the shape of my lens change the way we see objects and I say yes it changes and that is what we saw isn't it that when it was a convex shape it did change and if it was concave it would too because the concave also makes it so that 
whether it's convex or concave, like a cave, inside a cave, it changes what we see. Now, the question about the eyes, so this is kind of like some of our analysis here. We're analyzing our results, and then it's as we're analyzing our results, it's bringing us more questions, which is so, it's so fascinating about science and so much fun. Um, I have some, uh, something to show you here in this book. So look at the, this diagram of the eyeball here. Now, it shows the eye, and when we have some nearsightedness or farsightedness, which means we can either see near or far, some of us need glasses to help us with that. So you can see in this picture right here where this eye, when they're nearsighted, you can use a concave lens to help you see a little bit better. And this one down here is showing a farsightedness. When you have farsightedness, if you do a convex lens it, with your glasses or contacts, it'll help you see. Now, that's what, gla that's what glasses do. And then when you go to the eye doctor and they check you out and they're doing different things to figure out what kind of glasses you might need, they're figuring out exactly do you need a convex, concave, mixture of both, just to make it exactly right for your eye so when the image comes into your eye, it's nice and clear and you can see it. For those of you who don't need glasses, your eyes are already doing that already. And if you do need glasses, your eyes are doing that, but we just have glasses that help us out with that process a little bit. Isn't that cool? So thankful for how science can help us and help us in our everyday lives too. Very, very remarkable. I wanna read you this quote from Psalms 139, verse 14. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. And I think that's something we can find when we learn about the human body and as we're learning about the eye and how the lens within our eye, that's something that when we dissect it, it feels like a hard marble. It can be flexible and it can change based on what we're looking at. And, and then we can use our science to make discoveries of our own and have glasses and things like that. Or, whoop, I got it the wrong way. It changes the, the picture when I do that, doesn't it? We can look through different lenses to help us see things bigger that are farther away. It's such a neat thing. All right, well, that is uh, our conclusion then. What did we learn about? We learned all kinds of things for our conclusion and our analysis and asked even more questions, didn't we? That yes, lenses do change the way we see objects and that the lenses within our eye are so remarkable and flexible. And when we try to replicate that with the water, we were able to see that those concave and convex lenses do change the shape. So other types of hypotheses we could have had were, let's say, a convex shape magnifies. Does it magnify or does it, does it make things bigger or smaller? Versus a concave shape. That could be another hypothesis that I, a convex shape makes things bigger. A concave shape makes things smaller and you can test those hypotheses as well. So. Keep exploring, keep discovering, and we'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.